So we've done a lot of work on these graphs started, started, that we started yesterday. And we looked for a few different things. We looked for what kind of slope was the line itself, and we put a positive or a negative for most of them. We found the y-intercept, and we found as many ordered pairs as we could from that, that line. But what we really want to find for this is the slope and then the equation. And we've talked a little bit about how slope is rise, is known as rise over run. And that's just really a shortcut to talk about the upper number in the fraction goes up or down on the graph, and the lower number goes left or right. This is also known more uh, mathematically as the change in y over the change in x. We'll talk about the change part later, but if I'm changing something in mathematics, I'm typically subtracting it. And that's where these numbers in this table can come into play later. But for now, the simple way of finding slope when you've got a line on a graph is quite simply just to do some counting. And I like to go to the very bottom point on my graph and draw a line up to the line where the net, the highest point is. So I'm just going from the bottom point that I could find on my graph up to this line because that's where the, the, tall, the highest point is. I almost said tallest, like they're tall. This is what's called the rise. And it's a silly way of looking at things, but I am an, a very visual learner. And in my like little kid brain, I think of this as like an elevator. I have to go up or down the elevator before I can walk on any floor in the building. Well, now that I've taken the elevator up, I can now run across to the other point. And this is what's known as the run. So we can quite literally make, draw triangles on our graph connecting two points and count how much we rose and how much we run. You start here and count the next one, two, three, four. So my rise is four. And then my run is one, two, three, four. It's also four over four, or also four, which makes four over four. What is that equal to? one. So the slope in this case is negative 4 over 4, which is also equal to negative 1 over 1, which is also just equal to negative 1. Where did I get the negative from? The kind of slope it is. What kind of line is that? It was one of the first things we said yesterday with this paper, right? We can't forget that part of it. I want to show you using this, if I had gone to the very next point, I would have risen up one and run over one. So slope can also work in the same way that equivalent fractions do. I went from the absolute lowest one up to the highest one we had on this graph, but when we got it, we were able to reduce it here. So that now means that I can write the equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. y equals negative x minus 3. That's the equation for this line. And I want to point out to you where I'm getting those parts from. This minus 3 is from this point, which is also this which is also this. It's my y-intercept, right? Where did I get this negative x from? The fact that it's a negative line and its slope is 4 over 4 and we leave the one invisible. So let's go and try that with this equation, or this line, see if we can find its equation. 
I again want to find my rise and my run. I'm just going to rise up to the next point this time and run over and I rose up one and I ran over two. What would happen if I rose up to this point up here? This one raises up two and runs over four. Is, oops, I'm sorry, off screen. Is one over two equal to two over four? I found this one by just going between these two points that are closest to each other. And I found this one by going up another one and over to this other point. Which is the reduced version? This one, right? And it's actually the one that's closest to each other. So with the information we have on this graph, we can write its equation as well. Typically, the equation comes in y equals mx plus b form, m being the slope, and we just found the slope is 1 half. And what's my y-intercept on this one? Zero. So I would write this as y equals 1 half x plus zero, or that could be just written as y equals 1 half x. See if you can take a moment to try to write the equations for 3 and 4.